Just to forewarn you, this video is a complete shit show and if you don't mind me making mistakes as I don't mind showing you my mistakes, then stay tuned. Hey cutie foodies, welcome back to my channel. It's the one and only Sweet Pea here. And today we have another cookbang for you and we will be making a tongue hulu, which is candied fruits. Alrighty folks, so for our tongue hulu, we're going to need some skewered fruit. <laughs> skewered fruits, say that fast 10 times. We have some mandarin oranges, um some red seedless grapes i have some limes here and some pineapples okay um preferably you're going to use a medium saucepan put it on to medium low heat and then we're going to take about two cups of sugar, regular white granulated sugar. You don't need to be extra fancy, fancy schmancy with this. And some water. So we're just going to use enough water to basically coat over our sugar. And that's it. If you want to add let's say honey or vanilla extract or even, um, what is that stuff called? Cairo, which is like a corn syrup. You can um, to make it a candy candy. And you know what, actually, let's get some of that. I'm going to watch this and let it uh, cook up, if you will. Let it come to a boil. And um, you can use a candy thermometer, um, preferably if this is your first time making anything like this, especially candy. I've made candy several times, so I can kind of guesstimate. Um, you want it to get to just before the hard crack stage because um, the sugar is going to continue to cook. So just before it gets to the hard crack phase on your candy thermometer, you want to remove it from the heat and start spooning on or rolling your fruit around into um, the sugar base and then set it to the side so that it can harden up or if you want to make sure that your sugar is done and you don't have a candy thermometer you can take some water put some ice in it make sure it's a clear container and what you're going to do is scoop um, just a tad bit from out of your mixture you're going to dump it into the water and if it hardens up really fast and it's not like gummy or anything like that it's done take it off or another way that you can know is that if it'll start to turn like a golden brown or darker than regular sugar then you want to remove it from the heat like I said immediately because it's going to continue to cook you don't want it to caramelize on you and then you're going to ladle on the sugar simple as that so we're not going to mix this, we're not going to do anything, we're just going to let the sugar and the water and the heat do its thing. And I will bring you guys back when it's time to spoon on to the fruit. Alrighty, so our sugar is very thick and syrupy now, so I'm going to turn off the heat. I'll make it a little bit lower, just for the time being. Put it on a simmer until it becomes more golden. I already started with these grapes right here, but you're essentially just going to take the sugar and just drizzle it on with your spoon. If you had a deep pot and you used a little bit more sugar or you leaned it over to the side, you will be able to um, just dunk it in there. And make sure, please, if you decide to make this, that your fruit is as dry as possible. 
and you want to lay this down on some parchment paper or freezer paper wax paper whatever you want to call it until it's dry let's try orange and again you don't necessarily now it's starting to get extra thick so we can turn this heat off you don't necessarily need to add anything in here to make it hard crack like the Cairo that's only if you're really going to make like a hard candy and then you really don't even need it for that um, also you really don't need any extra flavoring because you're going to get the flavor from the fruit once you bite into the sugar and see what I mean by still cooking so we want to hurry up and finish this before it crystallizes this is going to be so good and just coat every piece of fruit and this is heavy now twirl it around so it doesn't drip drip I'm going to do a line and these are a little bit tricky so you have to work real fast these are a little bit tricky because they are wet but since our sugar is so thick and already starting to crystallize then okay so I have removed our sugar from the heat and I lost my other pot because I got distracted which is not something that you want to do when making this and as I said you can see that the sugar is still cooking and it's starting to crystallize on me again <laughs> so you have to be extra quick with this swirl and I think I might just dump this out you're going to want to soak your pot once you're done with this because this sugar will stick and this is what we wanted now it's looking good now it's looking like tonkulu from the articles i've read this is um it started in china so it's an asian uh street food street snack that is usually um let me start scraping from the bottom is usually given out in the uh, winter time because I guess it's extremely hot in the uh, summer in China never been so I don't know because um, it said the articles that I was reading said that the sugar would melt so fun fact for you guys and this is how it looks when the sugar starts to crystallize but it's still pretty clear for the time being and you can always dip your fruit like this right now this tong hulu is a pain in my buttocks so I'm just going to pour it pour the sugar mixture over the rest of the fruits and hopefully it stays clear so let me try to twist you guys over this way so these are the oranges that I just had you guys can see hmm. so good and as you can see these started to crystallize but it's fine I'm still gonna eat it so let me pour my syrup over the orange I'm going to flip this and it should stick. And we'll have to pry it from off of the paper. That's fine. Right now I have other videos to make. So, hold on, let me get low. <laughs> there we go thank you guys for hanging out with me while i make and fail and make again this song hulu um you'll see it in another video when it's time to eat it 
and if you make this let me know how it goes for you <laughs> and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye